Hello everyone. In this video we will discuss the process of creating an entity relationship diagram, often known as an ERD, for the project entitled Capstone Project Monitoring System. Please don't forget to subscribe on our channel and click the notification bell to receive free updates. It is a web-based program that helps project managers, advisors and students to keep track of the status of their projects and verify that they are on track to fulfill their deadlines. Capstone Project Monitoring System, CPMS, managers slash advisors slash students can use the system to set project milestones and track the progress of each milestone as it is reached. Management can also establish tasks and track the progress of each activity through the use of this tool. Managers can also view the current status of the project team as well as the status of their individual tasks through the CPMS. It is the goal of the CPMS to assist project managers in staying organized and keeping track of their projects. This is the first phase of the development of the Capstone Project Monitoring System, which will eventually be used as the basis for the production of the actual database that will be used by the system. We will develop an entity relationship diagram for the Capstone Project Monitoring System and describe the steps involved in creating the diagram. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. 1. Identify all the entities. 2. Identify the relationship between entities and 3. Add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. We will identify all the entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of Capstone Project Monitoring System later on. In the Capstone Project Monitoring System we have the following entities. 1. User 2. User Group 3. Feature Access 4. Advisor 5. Group Member Info 6. Group 7. Completed Capstone 8. Milestone 9. Milestone Details. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. 1. The user belongs to a specific user group or category, one-to-one -one relationship. 2. The user can access one or more features of the system, one-to-many relationship. 3. The user can encode and update the information of advisor, one-to-many relationship. 4. The list of completed papers includes the name of the capstone project advisor. The advisor can handle multiple groups depending on the rules and regulations of the department, one-to-many relationship. 5. The group members will also be included in the completed capstone project, one-to-one -one relationship. 6. Group code or information contains or has group members, usually capstone project has four members. 7. The capstone advisor will set and assign milestones or activities to the group, one-to-many relationship. 8. Milestone information contains several details and updates, one-to-many relationship. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. User entity has the following attributes. User underscore ID dash primary key represented with underline. Username. Password. Avatar. Full name. Contact. Email. User Category ID dash Foreign Key. Status. User Group Entity has the following attributes. User Group ID dash Primary Key represented with underline. Group Name. Description. Allow Add. Allow Edit. Allow Delete. Allow Print. Allow Import. Allow Export. Feature Access Entity has the following attributes. Access ID dash Primary Key represented with underline. User ID dash foreign key. Access advisor. Access group. Access group members. Access milestone. Access completed project. Access users. Advisor entity has the following attributes. Advisor ID dash primary key represented with underline. Full name. Credential. Email address. Contact number. Avatar. Username. Password. Account status. User ID dash foreign key. Group member info has the following attributes. Member ID dash primary key represented with underline. Group code. Member name. Role. Group has the following attributes. Group ID dash primary key represented with underline. Group code. Group members. Capstone project title. Abstract. School year. Completed capstone has the following attributes. 
Record ID dash primary key represented with underline. Capstone project title. Group ID dash foreign key. Year completed. Abstract. Advisor ID dash foreign key. Milestone capstone has the following attributes. Milestone ID dash primary key represented with underline. Milestone name. Milestone description. Deadline. Milestone details has the following attributes. Detail, primary key represented with underline. Milestone ID. Group ID. File uploaded. Remarks. Uploaded date. Status. A significant benefit of ERD is that it can aid in the improvement of communication and understanding among stakeholders, which can result in more efficient and effective system development overall. Improved system quality, decreased development time and costs, and a better grasp of system needs are some of the advantages of enterprise resource planning. It will be a guide for the developers as they work on the project's database. It would be great if you could share our post on how to make an ER diagram for an OJT records monitoring system with other people. Thank you for watching. For more free capstone projects ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.